episode. We'll see if we make it to this pickup. Let's see what happens. Stick around, find out. From Columbia, South Carolina. about 7.15 arrival for a 6 o'clock appointment. Uh, you see right here on the left, we have a little accident. They said there was two accidents, now it says there's one. Said I could have saved nine minutes by getting off and going through kind of the back roads to our left, but I guarantee there's gonna be some road that wasn't a truck road, so you kind of have to stay on the highways. Um, don't take those little back roads. End up being worse for you than it would have been. But we'll see. We'll still try and get there and see if they'll load us, see if they're in good spirits. Um, I think I've been here before. Uh, we'll see, though. So we'll keep trying to make it there, but we're going to be about an hour and 15 late. So we will see. There was one truck back there that had hit a, just a fender bender, hit the back of a work truck, like a, 
uh, a flatbed chassis on a, on a Dodge Ram, but or a bed. That truck looks like maybe he's just waiting this out, or I don't know, just reset his clock. It's one of the trucks I actually did CDL training in. I think that's a T660. Uh, I love it. it had the same dash as I'm looking at right now. It was a 2000, I think it was a 2012 or something. They bought them um, for like thirty thousand a piece. High miles, I'm well, like six, seven hundred thousand on uh, Cummins, just like my Volvo had when I bought it. But they were good trucks. I liked them. Like driving them, they were the nicest ones. They put seats in the back where the uh, sleeper would be. Ride with two guys behind you and an instructor. And I liked some instructors better than others, but <laughs> it was uh, it was a good learning experience. That was one of the trucks I had, and I guess I kind of. <clears throat> made me fall, not fall in love, but like the Kenworth a little bit. I didn't, didn't ever like the Peterbilt when I started looking for a truck to buy because uh, the sleeper didn't have, I like that big tall sleeper. Uh, once I saw, saw that, I was like, I want that. So well, that's why I drive a W9. Also, it kind of goes, the whole know you worth thing didn't come because of a Kenworth. It was just me thinking about like making your be best bid for your lanes for what you were uh, transporting loads you were taking some and it just kind of fell in line with Kenworth because I had to know your worth back when I had the uh, Volvo. A little little known story. Where is this accident? If that little accident back there was that's kind of crazy because it's saying it's going to take me like an uh, hour and 20 minutes to go 37 miles. I'm like come on. Come on Atlanta. See these people are in good spirits. I'm not going to have my hopes up but if they say yes we'll load you I'll be happy and grateful if they say sorry. Too late after your appointment I'll say I get it. No worries. Well, if that was just a speeding or a bad maneuver, it looks like they're just getting a ticket. Um, that's like the third thing. <laughs> Car that we're still just slow and go. Slow and go. Come on. This load though, if I do get it on a trailer, it's only like 3,000 pounds. It's like sipping fuel and it's going over to Columbia. I hope I get it, but I'm not crossing my fingers on it. I understand uh, Atlanta's not a place that you really get worked in so much. They don't have a lot of leeway. If you miss it, you miss it. It's like, man, reschedule. So I have that mindset, but I'm going to give it the old college try. So we'll get over there once we, if we ever get there, we'll see. We were flowing for about a half a mile, and now it looks like we're uh, bottling up again. And there was no accident. There was uh, one truck at the very end that had no triangles out. Either he just broke down or he was sitting in his seat looking down at his phone. But he wasn't, he knew he had to move, but I don't think he could move. Maybe he was calling somebody or something, but um, it was just sitting in the right lane. So I don't know what happened there. Lots of trucks just kind of broke, but he was in the lane. So that truck's, maybe he's just relaxed. I don't know. What's going on? People just pulling over. So we're stay here tonight okay well puts us back about an hour let's see what we got when we get there stunning sunset right there for Atlanta and this is actually the airport we're going under right now it's one of the runways some thick concrete lots of planes I think this is the busiest airport in the world I'm not sure it's the top three but definitely uh, Long secure line, me and T-Dubs missed our flight. We got there the same time that they said boarding closes and they probably sold our seats so they wouldn't let us on, but it's okay. We waited six hours in the airport and still made it to our destination. But we missed it because parking was closed and uh, traffic. So if you're coming to Atlanta, might as well stay the night before if you're catching a flight. Don't try and drive there in the morning, uh, even if you leave at four in the morning for a 10 a.m. flight. Oh yeah. Uh, beautiful sunset though, we are going to catch 85 and we are about 7 miles away. I don't know if you saw that, but did you see those two deer? They're, they're just sitting there on the side of the road. Just hanging out. Oh yeah. Not phased by Jake's or anything else. Going over a big old rail yard down there, like seven tracks down there. We're getting some beautiful sunsets. 
Oh, I have been here before. I've been here with the Volvo. I remember them being pretty cool about it. I think I remember being on the very back corner. And I think something, I don't I have to watch the video, but I have been here like one time before. And I remember them being pretty cool. So I was thinking it was gonna be another place, but this is it right here. Check in the window and it doesn't look like that busy. It looks like it's definitely a Schneider account. They got Schneider trucks everywhere. Uh, let's pray for the best guys. Let's see what we got. For Columbia, South Carolina. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the reschedule is not happening? Not okay. Thank you. That is pretty cool, though. Give me a box of cereal. Well, we tried. Um, I don't remember being like that last time, but then again, it was probably earlier on time. The broker did say, hey, as long as you're there within the hour of the appointment, you'll be okay. But it's like 7.15. It was a 6 o'clock appointment. But we got a free box of cereal. It's the best thing. We're in a good freight area. I uh, just wish we would have had that one. It would have got us back towards the house. But, hey, we'll shut it down, get some dinner. Burked my butt off to get here on time. Uh, but just too much traffic. That's, that's Atlanta. I knew that was what it was going to be. I was just crossing my fingers they were going to load it. But she said, it's already been rescheduled. I said, okay. He's like, it has to go. I'm like, all right, man, well, I'm about to get out of here. Go watch football. Okay. <laughs> but if, if I can, if it makes him happy, I'll stay. So you guys have like preloaded trailers you're doing, huh? Well, it's not there. We do short staff. Yeah. Well, Seems like there's a short staff everywhere in the world. All right. As long as he's happy. All right. All right. I know. All right. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. Thank you. It's kind of crazy because there was two guys just sitting in there watching the baseball game. Hmm. We need to keep America going, guys. We need to have a little bit more giddy up on our work ethic. Well, I was just about to leave um, and the broker called me and said, hey man, can you please try and hold it, hold on and wait? Um, this load has to go. These people need it real bad. I said, yeah, man, it's fine with me. I'm just doing a U-turn. He called me right away because I just submitted the, uh, the um, what was it called? Not a complaint, like a request for uh, no, no load or cancel load on Convoy's app. This is a Convoy load. And uh, he called me right away. He's like, hey, man, please stay there. And so he couldn't get a hold of anybody by calling them. So I had to walk in there and let him talk to her through my phone. And then she gave him the phone number to the phone that was right in front of her. And then he called her. And she said, I'm just going to tell him the same thing. And I'm like, I'm not trying to fight with you. He's just asking me to do this for him. I guess this load really needs to go. And he said, can I please speak to your supervisor? And she walked out the doors. So where I went in is on the corner over there. She walked out over here to where I just showed you. Uh, two guys are just sitting there watching the Braves game. And once I walk by, they kind of get up and then they go into the, <laughs> to where she's at. I'm like, man, it's just sad because I can see them watching the Braves game right here. <laughs> uh, just, it's one live load. There's nobody here, not on either side. And she said, oh, we just don't have the manpower. We're, uh, we're down. Seems like you're, uh, you're down because you're watching that. You're probably going to watch Thursday Night Football after that. It's one trailer. You can load it. We saw that with the sugar load, the powdered sugar load, how they loaded it in five minutes when he knew Kyle was in, in the truck. You can load it that quickly. It's 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 mind boggling. Like they just <sighs> sad. It's sad for America. But we'll keep rocking. We're in a good freight market. I wish I could have been there tomorrow. Um and getting something else, but we'll get something. So keep our fingers crossed and go watch Thursday night football. Probably see you guys in the morning. So these lanes. 
didn't seem to be X'd out for no use, but all these people seem to use it still. <laughs> that X up there, everyone was flying by from the on-ramp like, bad merging guys, come on, take your turns. And because of that, it was dead stop again. Oh, goodness. Uh, we're getting to the other side of Atlanta. I don't know if I'm going to stay out here, go hoard towards the lake because of traffic in the morning, but I just didn't want to be on the west side of Atlanta for tomorrow, especially if I don't get a load. I do not want to fight traffic again in Atlanta, so I'll spend the $15 in fuel to get to this side. Might watch the NFL game, call it a night. I don't know yet, but don't go in the lane when there's a big X on it. Not, not smart. Good morning, Georgia. Turned off the APU with my foot to start the day. I stayed out here just to have a better option for loads. I can still go to Greenville if I need to, but I wanted to have more options because sometimes I don't want to come all the way back over to the Georgia side if it's too far of a deadhead. So, alrighty, let's get this going. Fire up. Get some air built up. Okay. Not much happening over here where I'm at, but this is a great area between Atlanta and Greenville to look for loads because you have both options available. But nothing's happening right where I'm at, and I really don't want to go back into Atlanta uh, and then get loaded and then come back out at 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Not happening, not on a Friday. So we're going to go ahead towards Anderson. Uh, because I might get another solar panel load. There's like three more of them listed up there, but as we roll, oh, save the guardrails. Good jeez. jeez. Um, as we roll, let's watch these loads on Truck Smarter. Let's check out the loads to Truck Smarter while this motor warms up and airs up. Right there in the middle, totally free app and a heck of a referral program and factoring program. So, right there at the top, they have that little thing going. Click that, it'll show you kind of the referrals. Um, Ready to get set refer. There you go. There's my little code. 3637023, like Jordan. Um, but yeah, you get different things that you refer. You get different dollar amounts, even with, with fuel. So please check them out. They're definitely worthwhile. They're adding new brokers that I've never heard of every week. So let's see what we got, though, for where we're sitting now. Kind of by Pendergrass. Pendergrass. Athens is a little bit south of us. I think it's more than 19 miles deadhead for us to Athens. Um, but let's see, Brazelton. So it's a great area for freight, but there's just not a lot of stuff coming out. Seems like I get better rates out of Greenville than I do um, Atlanta right now. All the way to New York, eighteen hundred, two dollars a mile. If you want to go back up there, that's a good, that's a decent one. Uh, let's see, Tolson for twenty eight hundred dollars, dollar forty seven. Come on, spot, we can do better. Anderson. And there's lots of loads, there's not a lot of rates, so it's going to be one of those probably wait to the end of the day kind of things. We shall see. Uh, it's going out towards Florence for 390 and it's a Landstar. I uh, do not want to deal with the Landstar brokers. The Landstar brokers are kind of just above TQL brokers, if you know what I mean. If you're in the spot market, you know what I mean. Anderson down there, they just upped the price. Okay, $650. Uh, let's see what the catch is. Uh, yeah, drop trailer, 7, 24 to 48 hours and on the weekend, so they're going to have it till Tuesday, Wednesday, because the weekend doesn't count. Yeah, not happening. That would, that would have to be like 1200 1500 bucks for the extra days they're going to have the trailer. Atlanta. Charleston, okay, well, why are they delivering on the 5th and 4th? Monday is the 2nd. That's, I mean, that's an okay rate, but uh, why are they holding the trailer till Thursday? Make no sense. They're factorable though. A little bit, and the weight's not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they're holding it that late. But there was no other stipulations, no drop trailer, nothing. Ackworth to Calpins. I have to go back through Atlanta to get it. Uh, I'd already been on that last night, and it's not accepted. Let's see what else we got going around. McDonough, that'd be back into Atlanta. Where's Leland at? Oh, way out to the way out to the coast. Oh man, it's a horrible rate for that. That's a starting point, but still they should be listing that at twelve fifty to start and then go to fifteen hundred. Atlanta to Dublin. Uh, Lithia. 
Starting to get into Greenville now. 75 miles of deadhead. Landed to Houston for $1,200. My goodness. Yeah, not great rates, guys. They drove them back to the bottom. And that's the brokers. That's not so much the customers. The brokers are have record margins right now, which means they're making more money than they've ever made off each load because everyone's diving to the bottom to grab the loads and they're out all underbidding each other. The customer's still paying the same. Maybe a little bit less, but not not what we're paying. They're, the, the margins for the brokers are the highest they've ever been. That is verified. Let's see. Another convoy. Let's see how they have fuel along the way. That's cool, too, that Chuck Smarter shows you on the route when you're booking a load that the fuel that they have. They don't have a lot of fuel out here, but in the Midwest and the Northwest and the Southeast, they do have way more than they do out here. Greer, we'll bid on that one. That's going down to Lakeland. Delivers Monday. Get $2,400 bid, probably. $2,450. See what they say on that one. I'll also email that to my broker buddy for CH and see if he can work on it. But now we're into Greer, kind of where we live. Uh, there's the solar panel loads. $1,261. That's what they're trying to push it for. That is not great for the amount of weight and the amount of uh, headache I dealt with yesterday. But we'll do our good old 18. That's what we'll take it for. See what they say about it. Um, and they automatically declined. Okay. <laughs> Go figure. Automatic decline. Not even counter offering. Just nope. Not taking it. That's early in the day. Maybe later in the day they won't do that. But right now that's what they're doing. Those loads like I have my oldest son's birthday tomorrow. That's the next day delivery. So I can't. Uh, I might I would bid on that usually, but not with. Uh, I have to be home this weekend, so trying to be the, the family man I want to be, and book loads, which is hard in this market, very hard. Well, definitely some loads around the house, but Lakeland's convoy. I don't know. It's another one delivering the next day. All right. Get a little higher in the deadhead now, so. Uh, going up in Tennessee. Looks like that's going to be it for now. Anderson Bill, 1500. Uh, Candler. All right, we'll keep looking, but that's Truck Smarter, guys. So, those are the loads on Truck Smarter, and it's 74 degrees. Way station for Atlanta coming up. A lot of trucks in the left lane. They got it. Must must have the pre-pass. I don't know. Let's see if it's even open. Maybe it's closed. Maybe they know something I don't. Oh, that truck's getting over. Flatbed guys, like whatever. I'm out. But yeah, nothing going on. Uh, the clothes for solar panels again are just automatically declined. So they don't guess they don't need them to move this time. We'll see if something pops up. It's 11 a.m. Almost 11, it's like 10.40. Yeah, they just turned them off. Truck bypass has just stayed on. Truck bypass. We're getting to South Carolina, about 10 miles. And then we're right by the lake property. We'll probably stop by the, not, we're not going to the lake property, but stop by at that exit. And uh, hold there for a second, see if there's anything coming out of Anderson, South Carolina, before I continue back all the way, the 45 more, 40 miles more to uh, Greenville. Uh, not happening on Friday. It said shut it down. All right, let's keep rolling. Beautiful day, though. We will see you next time, Georgia. There's the exit one getaway. Crete knows what's up. Crete, there's one boat out there. See a fishing boat on the right side. So you need to fix that asphalt. But Crete knows what's up. Maybe he's going to go do some fishing. I don't know. Somebody dumped a bunch of trash right there. Come on, get that cleaned up. Back in South Carolina, oh yeah, exit one. Still 74 degrees and it's beautiful. Got the windows down, I roll them up when I record so you guys can hear me, I'll roll them back down. Look at that little Kubota up there on, on, on the uh, overpass. There you go, it's a bush hog. South Carolina is closed also. Wow, that sign got obliterated, it's not even there anymore, just the two posts. Somebody who pulled in late to go into the way station. All right, not much happening. We'll stop up here and check these boards. I know I say it every time, but if you ever see a little couple kids down there honking for your horn, please do. Uh, we won't be back, probably won't be back there for a while, maybe once if we're lucky for the rest of the winter. I'm going to stop.
stop at the old exit 35 pilot. I haven't been here forever, but 77 degrees outside, so we might lose the uh, South Carolina sweatshirt in change for the safety on a prep shirt. Bam. Giveaway coming up. We got Cash's birthday the 30th and the first on Sunday. So this Sunday, make sure you have all five words and uh, T-Dubs will tell you a little bit about it right here. Fuel prices are through the roof, so we are bringing back our giveaways. Bone Crystal at safetyauditprep.com are going to be sponsoring a $250 fuel card giveaway this month. Keep an eye out for five keywords and be in the chat October 1st. And check out safetyauditprep.com for all your compliance needs. Thank you, beautiful T-dubs. Pretty easy off and on. You come straight across here, and you go right into the trunk fueling section. There's a McDonald's, there's a tire place. Nice trailer over there. They are busy. Look if I can squeeze by, because I do not need fuel. I can squeeze nice and slow. Nice Jeep. There is a flattened a couple of trucks over there. It's sad. Like uh, where the records, and trailers do, where the records probably bring me some of the wrecks that happen around 85. Truck care, PM services, can I get through? Uh, looks like this guy's waiting too. Okay, someone's backing in, we're good. We'll wait our turn. Try to get on the backside and find somewhere just to hang out until we can leave. But we need somewhere to look for some loads. Stevens Transport just rolled through the cat scale, didn't stop. I guess he figured he uh, wouldn't wait his turn, I don't know. We're all waiting to go over there too, buddy. <laughs> but, uh, whatever this guy is, Willis, he's coming through too. Wait your turn, guys. Good old Smith up there, that's having a little bit of trouble getting it straight. It's about his fourth time forward and back. That's why sometimes I don't understand the, the uh, engineering of these truck stops. Eh? Sometimes it's not the best, sometimes it is. All right, go ahead and sneak by him. I don't know what these two guys in the scale are doing. Oh, goodness. You go ahead, man. Come on. There you go. Let everyone get past. If you need to reor re reorganize, you can do it after everybody clears out a little bit. out there on the street because it is a busy one guys so we're not gonna be here long look for some loads we're about 15 miles from home we got the chicken bacon ranch wrap let's see what we got going on so nothing really happened to guys for loads the uh solar panel loads they're not moving off 14 again so maybe it'll be another month before i take one of those but we're gonna head back towards the house i'll keep looking when i get home beautiful day but not happening today Let's go, big girl. <laughs> Young kid driving that thing. That thing's beautiful. Saw it coming. Oh, it's running around race field too. I can smell it. Oh, nice truck. Before I leave for good, though, I just checked again, and there's this load. That was up earlier. They bumped it up again, but that's a drop trailer one. Not really worth it. And then this one from Monster Logistics. Never heard of them, but they are factorable by Truck Smarter. The really cool thing about Truck Smarter is that, unlike other load boards that you can pay for, Truck Smarter is free. Um, you can just scroll to the bottom, and about 97% of their brokers are factorable with their factoring. So definitely uh, check them out. And but that one I offered 850. The Volvo's going pretty slow. You just pulled over right there. Old 
Funny Star trailer with the stickers pulled off. Um, it was offered it. So I'm getting notifications, but they're sideways. <laughs> Anyways, I'm scatterbrained. Uh, 850, we'll see if they come back, but I just emailed them um, and I put a bit in the Trucks Motor app. So we'll see if that comes through. If that comes through, it's right here behind me. It's like two miles from here. So I'll wait until they respond to that. If I don't get a response a little bit, then we'll start heading home. We did get a response from Monster, but they said uh, 575 is all they have in it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna be heading back home. I'm gonna drive right past <clears throat> the shipper. It picks up till four. I told them I'm empty, ready to go. Uh, 850 if you wanna reach out to the customer and uh, get that on a truck. That's not even that great of a, a load, but it's something. It holds till Monday. Um, used to be all day, $1,200 to $1,400 up to the south of Chattanooga area, but We'll see if they come back with that, get it on the truck, 37,000 pounds. If not, we'll see if we get something Saturday or Sunday or back to it Monday, but it's really dropped off this last uh, this last couple weeks, the volume. The volume was up for a little bit, and now it just went to nothing again, so I don't know what's going on. Checking out the box truck. Um, CH Robin has a load going tomorrow from Duncan, which is right up here, back to Anderson, back by the lake. It was listed at 380. I said I could do that for 500. I emailed it to my broker, um, and he came back with this. <laughs> I've ran for CH Robinson for five years, never had a problem, never missed appointment, never nothing, no anything, any claims of any kind. And they have their own, so Cowdy did this to me, has done this to me a lot, where you haven't ran enough loads in a year or a 30 day period that you're considered, I guess, high risk, or they don't know who you are, but it doesn't matter that for four years you've ran a jillion loads for them, I guess. I don't know the requirements of it or whatever it entails, but now C.H. Robbins is doing this. So I don't qualify to take this load from the, it's a vitamin company, Ver, Veritiv or something like that. I've done probably five, six loads for them. I've taken some to Pennsylvania and some down to um, like Macon, Georgia area. And because of that, or because I haven't ran that many loads for C.H. Robinson, which I just did run a load for C.H. Robinson, last week the week before but if you don't run enough loads like it's like i guess it's like a loyalty program i don't know but that's how ridiculous it is guys the loads are that scarce and the volume's that low but you can't even book loads i can't even book that load because i'm not um whatever i'm not on the spectrum of loyalty the loyalty program <laughs> we're taking all my loads to say drums and all my loads are county it is ridiculous guys so it's going to be a wash today i mean anything i look at even if i do look at the solar panel load, same thing. I can't even bid on them through the uh, app, the Coyote app, because I don't have the carrier requirements. So luckily, Truck Smarter lets me bid on them and puts those bids through. It's like I'm blocked from using Coyote. If I go to the Coyote app and I try to bid on those solar panel loads, it won't even let me. It says carrier requirements not met. I say, okay, but if I go in Truck Smarter, find it, I can. So it's ridiculous. All the more reason to have Truck Smarter in your wheelhouse, but uh, it's getting sad and getting scary out here. We can just pray for the best and keep our fingers crossed and think good vibes but sometimes it doesn't make any sense kind of like yesterday when or yeah last night when i couldn't get loaded when i was just past 30 minutes late an hour late to an appointment had zero people there it's uh it's scary the shippers don't want to work the receivers don't want to work the brokers aren't giving you the information on where you're getting the load dropped off at like what is going on with our country like Everybody needs to have just a little bit of initiative to keep this country great, keep this country moving forward. But uh, I guess we're not we're not doing that. So I'm doing my part, trying my best, but uh, not not gonna get there. What we doing? Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! You okay? Come on. One eight hundred eight 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 junk. Yeah. So we're almost home. We're just gonna put the truck back in the yard. Get get back home. And spend time with family, which is the most important thing in my life. Is them and their future and having a good time with them. And. Uh, and making memories is all you can do. What is anything in this world if you don't have great memories and become a good father? I forget the verse in the Bible, but it, uh, it says, well, the most righteous men are what makes you the most righteous is leaving something for your offspring, leaving something for your grandchildren. So I'm trying to do that, I'm trying to leave some properties, trying to leave a little bit of something to help them start their life because it's only getting harder out here. It's only getting harder to buy a house for a younger generation, harder to make a living, harder for everything. I'm definitely just trying to do the best I can for that and enjoy the time I have with them. So let's get back to them at T-Dubs. I will be looking at the load board still. I will, up until the end of the night, I'll be looking at it. We do have another contract.
much in the backyard, not really my cup of tea. It's more of a, it's a festival, it's a two day thing that I didn't even know about until t Dub told me about it today. Um, so that might be something that we check out, I don't know. But it's a, it's a bunch of different artists. And it's like an R&B kind of, not really a slow jam R&B, but just that kind of genre, not really hardcore rap, but in the middle stuff, I guess, whatever you want to call that. Um, but I've listened to some of the songs, but I don't know all the artists. Anyways, I'm done rambling. It was a waste of time. I got a nice W9 right behind me pulling a reefer. Same truck as mine, white with the same flat bumper. Um, he has a factory bumper though, but I don't know if he has a 86 or 72 inch sleeper, but I like it. I like seeing it behind me. I'm going around junk because he keeps hitting the brakes. Can't stand people that, it just shows you they're distracted or something, they keep hitting the brakes. They're either looking at their phone or maybe they're just a worrisome driver, but we're gonna cruise on by. Nope, no phone in hand. He's got two hands on the wheel, so he might be good. The cement truck's just kind of here and there going back and forth, so we'll see. All right, let's get on, on home, guys. It is only 2.30, and that uh, 85 is already backing up pretty bad there, guys. We're just venturing off right here. Taking Columbia down to the south. Pray for, uh, I hope there's no big or nothing, I hope it's okay, it's just, they're gonna get that done eventually, but right now they just need to extend that to five lanes, that's right now it's three, so, it's coming, they just gotta finish that bridge, get that thing flowing, T's and B's if you're coming to Greenville, I'm sorry about that, it's a beautiful place to live, 85 during rush hour is not great to Greenville, but it doesn't last that long, it only lasts about, I don't know, six, seven, eight miles, and then you're cruising again through uh, Spartanburg, okay, back on 385, the road I'm on can only mean one thing. We finally got a load. Um, we're going right back with solar panels, but this is just more teaching of how the broker industry is salesmen. They are pushing you to the very last minute to see, like this load was supposed to pick up till one o'clock, then they extended the times to five o'clock after they didn't get um, anybody to book it. They took it off the board two times put it back for more money now they just put it back for even more money and I finally got it um, I'll do tomorrow's video on all of this that I just no, I'll, maybe I'll just I'll put it into this video we'll just do it in this video um, I have a couple screenshots here of all these different loads here's one from uber freight that was listed at like a thousand and thirty it's up to almost fourteen hundred now at the end of the day we need it moved um, there's another one that was here for um, was it? Uh, it's a, a broker I've never worked with before, but they listed at 22. Going to Miami, I said I'll do that for 3,000. And I emailed them. Truck Smarter has a great feature where you can just push. If you're not set up, you're not onboarded, which means you're not set up to carry with um, that particular broker because they're new, a new one I've never heard of. Uh, they'll let you just email default, go to their um, sales side, and say this would, we have to look at this load. Are you interested? Uh, this is what I would do it for you. Put a bit on it. Nothing, no response, but. 15 minutes, 30 minutes later, it's up to 2,600. So that's just two instances. And then that Coyote load, the good old, that was listed at 1,200 for these solar panels. Uh, I guess there's two different solar farms being built. I got UPS coming at me, so I'm waiting for him. All right, he's turning. Um, two different places for these solar panels going. One's a little bit shorter than miles. It's delivering to a Love's truck stop. And another one was the same one, rest area, that I waited five hours at yesterday. So I said, hey, I just ran it for 1,800. Um, I'll run it for that again. And then nothing, nothing. Then they raised it up to seventeen hundred. Then I did seventeen fifty, eighteen hundred, uh, seventeen seventy-seven. I said this pretty much doesn't stand around eighteen hundred dollars for this load, especially it's a weekend load now too. Nothing didn't respond. And then I realized also that I had left my uh, tracking on for Coyote. So what that means is these apps track you. They ha you have to have tracking on when you have one of their loads, especially. But if you get forget to turn it off, they can see where you're at. They can watch your movement. They know everywhere your truck's at, which they don't, you don't want them to have that information. Take that away from them. So once I realized that, I turned off my location services for Coyote, and then I got counter offers right away. And then I didn't get a counter offer again um, for a while. And then when I turned locations back on and bid 1750 again, I got an immediate counter offer again at 700. So they're watching you, especially when they need the load move. So, <laughs> anyways, um, there's one broker. There's a couple of good brokers still in this world. This guy's name is, uh, it starts with a D. Thanks, man. He's giving me the go-ahead. Um, and he's kind of always just reached out in the morning and said, hey, anything I can help you with, let me know. And he works with Coyote. I said, cool, man. I every now and then, I, I just kind of 
brush it off. Sometimes I'll shoot a load out and never heard nothing back from them. But there's brokers that are just salesmen, just don't give a crap about anything anybody else but themselves, which is a sad thing about this industry that it's most majority of these brokers. There's a couple of them. I've got one with C.H. Robinson, I got one now with the Coyote Guy. And they uh, they will do what they need to do. They they're, they're understand you're a human like them. And so he, I emailed him and said, hey, I'm trying to book this load at 1800, I just ran it. And then he called me, you can see right here. Then he calls me. Like when they call you, it means I'm trying to work with you. The person who was counter offering stayed at 17 all the time. Nothing else. 17, 17. I'm like, I can go get it right now. You guys bumped it up from like $1,200. It was like 1183, all the way up to 1700 when it's time to move it. Got a roundabout right here. Is making sure everyone's stopping. They are. Make sure our trailer clears at the. Uh, we're right by the BMW track again. Anyways, this broker uh, told me kind of the situation that happened with the last one and all that. Not only is he like, yeah, I'll work on them for you. He calls them. It's another thing where I had to get like um, approval. I just ran a load for Cowdy yesterday, and I still have to get approval to run the same load. I'm like, this is ridiculous, guys. It's getting real bad. Um, same thing with CH. Like what I said earlier, CH Robinson said I don't have enough. I haven't ran enough for him to be trusted. I'm like, I've ran for you for five years. I've never had a problem. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not trusted. I understand there's a lot of bad things going on in the industry right now. So. There's double brokering. There's all these different companies that are, are stealing MCs and just moving stuff without insurance and all kinds of bad stuff in the industry. The, the electronic part of it, the animation can be good, but it can also be bad. So anyways, he works on it. He finally gets his meet for $17.50. I'm like, cool. And then he has to go through the whole process of getting me approved to take it. And then I also, the, where he went a step beyond is like, hey man, I was stuck for five hours last time. Can you please give me who's ever contact information I have to get to call? Uh, to get this load delivered, I, didn't, I need that because I know maybe because it delivers Monday. Monday morning, you probably won't be up. I don't know where you're out of Chicago or something if that's central, central time, and I'll be Eastern Standard Time in Florida. So I just need whatever paper you have, give me that phone. And on top of that, he's like, Yeah, I'll get you whatever. We have a lot of trucks here today. One, two, three, four, a lot of people loading. So we're going to be here for a second. We're back at the solar panel place. Um, but he's like, Hey, give me that BOL. Stop, uh, put the times that you got there and the times that you left, and I'll get you detention for that. And I was like, Cool, because the other guy, Billy, who didn't give me the contact information for five hours, um, never responded to my request for detention. Nothing. Never even says a thing. So that tells you the difference with brokers, guys. Someone's packing up from US Express. He has all of his bags, and he's getting into an Uber right now from right there. US Express is right there. Sad. Sometimes you, you got to go, though. Sometimes you just don't vibe with the dispatcher. I never worked a company, so I can't take this from personal preference, but I've heard enough stories that uh, sometimes it's just better to move on to a different company. You might have the same kind of pay pay scale, but you might have better people to work with. I gotta check in guys, but yeah, there's good brokers out there. And you can see till the end of the day, especially the last day of the quarter, third quarter, last day of the billing cycle for uh, these brokers. But it's pulling teeth sometimes, but and it's just a waste of time. But once they need it to move, they will come to your rate. So they finally did. Geez, smoking a vape, here we go, let's check in. Yesterday. Work. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> no. I just hope I get loaded quicker. You guys got a lot of people here. I don't know. They've been in and out pretty quick. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go get loaded up. Nice little girl. Kind of crazy. The only thing we can get these days is solar panels. And I had to deadhead all the way home because they wouldn't load us yesterday after 30 minutes. But this gets me something on the truck for the weekend. I am grateful for that. It's a good rate to get down there, cover fuel. Hey, if I have to deadhead back, that covers fuel back too. But I hope on a Monday I can get something out of Florida. Uh, and I won't be sitting there for five hours. We'll see though. We are checked in. They are in shift change. So he's like, hey, I'm going to come out there and give you a door. to sign in. Let me see your Raycon. Let me see the confirmation number. And I'll come get you. I said, okay, man. So let's get out here. Wait and hurry up and wait. I'm gonna get back in here and email that broker my BOL so he can give me that detention. That is awesome. Uh, Melbourne or Wellborn, the yeah. time before the travel stop, yes. the rest area, and I sat there for five hours. No one came to me. Is that what you did at Love's? No, yeah, I could have, but I was smart enough to, get, to do what you did, that you did, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, at the Melbourne. I'm gonna give you heads up. Get to Love's. What time do you plan on getting out of here? I have an eight, no, I'm going Monday. You have to this on Monday. Monday. 8 a.m. Monday. What's the date? Today's Friday. The date? The date? Uh, 29th. 
like shit, I gotta check my date. Yeah. So what'd you do at Love's though? Get that Love's. You don't deliver to Love's. Yeah, this is like a little offsite down the yeah. road about five miles. Okay. What you wanna do? Matter of fact, when you get your bills, the offsite address also gonna be there with the Love's. It'll be there. So when I got the one from Welford, it gave me uh, coordinates like longitude, yeah. latitude, and it was the rest area. Yes, yeah, so, well, if did, that's what you deliver it to. Like yeah, it, I deliver it like 20 miles down the road. Yeah, so, yeah. so you're going to be at the rest area. When you was at the rest area, it's going to be something like, well, at least you'll be at the Love's this time, yeah. if you go earlier. But get to Love's, get up early in the morning at about 7 o'clock and go straight to the off-site. It's an address there that's going to give you the off-site On the address. bills? Yeah, but go to the Love's. You only can go to the outside at 8 a.m. Okay. So get up, man, because if you get to that outside late, Everybody this, all these trucks. You see these trucks that's here now? They're all gonna be, they're gonna be all out live the gate. Dang. You're gonna be like 18 in line. And then the bad thing about it, they only got one. Man, the guy's pretty fast. Yeah, the like 30 road. minutes each one. Yeah, but I, I but 18 trucks can still be two offloads. Yeah. So I still rather be the I think every single truck that was getting uh, loaded is loaded now, but uh, they're doing shift change like I said But that was super nice of that guy to give me that insight about loves uh, So Monday morning looks like we might be shooting out a little early uh, 18 trucks in line Man. All right, well, we haven't had anybody come over and give us a door yet. All these guys are loaded already And once the double shift change we get a door looks like all those trucks are probably done So hopefully we can get loaded quick Get back home see T-Dubs and the boys and then cash, my oldest turns eight tomorrow, guys. It's crazy. I'm blessed to get a load for the weekend. I'll be able to leave out Sunday. Um, and then uh, get back to it out there in Florida. Hey, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, do me a favor, please. Uh, step into the office. Yeah. We need a little bit more information. Okay. All right, thank you. No worries. Can you see on the phone? Not so much. <laughs> but with this kind of stuff, they should be working on the weekend. Yeah, you think? You know, yeah. I mean, they should have like one poor little guy on weekend on. Uh, yeah, they said come back. Okay, they, uh, who got trailer three, well, five, three, one, four, four, six? That's me. Okay, both of y'all. Uh, you got trailer six, one, yeah. five, six. Okay, y'all going to D forty. Yeah. It's on the same street that we on right? Okay. Uh, this is just uh, we got a building here. We got a building right down the street, like literally. So okay. when you hit the roundabout. Go, just keep going straight. Like, you know what a roundabout is? Just keep going straight. Through. Yep. And the second going. exit a roundabout? Yeah, so the first exit, we're just going straight yeah. through. Yeah, yep, second one, basically. So, so you're going straight through, and it's going to be a big old building on your right side, mm -hmm. and you're going to get to that building, and it's going to be a road around the side. Our building is the building behind that building. She talked to me, lady. It's going to be on your right-hand right -hand side. You mean, that's the one you're going to pass. That's when you sit around, you're going to pass it, and you get to, the, to another road, or just turn off. And if you look down that road, you'll see another building in the back with a gate and everything. That's B4. And you two. Take a paper there, they're waiting for us. But they're waiting for you right now. They go there? Yeah. Okay, this thing. We pick up and we get our bills later from there. Oh, thank you. So I'm down and just come back. Thanks, guys. I'm following him. Yeah. And the wood's in the middle. It's up nice and for this. It's done. I hate super singles, that's why. I'll never have one of those. Well, yeah, we can't get out of there. Look on this side. Is that a truck on there? Yeah, that's a truck on there. You might just, uh, we might be able to get past you. Thanks, man. Uh, like, what the heck, guys? Wait your turn. <laughs> We're not in here for fun. <laughs> and then there's that guy in the middle. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad that that guy behind me has the same mentality. Like, what are you guys doing? Just wait back there. It's not that far of a walk. We just got told to go to a different building, and now this guy's blocking me from getting out. My goodness, guys. Impatient, I get it. It's trucking. You want to get where you're going, but come on. We're heading to the other location. Wait, what? He sent us to the other location. Okay, I just need to check the back All right. What is going on, guys? Get over there. So what he said was go through, straight through the roundabout, and then your first right will be a building with a bunch of a gray building with a bunch of uh, windows, 
and there'll be a building behind that, B90. So let's look for B90. Okay, so this one says truck entrance one way. It's a gray building with a bunch of windows. Said so the building behind that. Um, I think it's that building straight ahead, but I don't want to miss this turn if it lets me get to that building back there. So we're going to see. If it's a one way, it's probably going to let us back out. But it's that building back there, I'd imagine. Yeah, we can get back out over here. Okay. Just came out of their driveway. There's the parking to the right for people that work here. The gate's already open. It makes me think we're in the right spot. Big old buildings, just like the other one. How you doing, man? They gave me absolutely no paperwork, but they told me to come over here. Uh, it's 34515. What now? 34515, that's the last five. Uh, the last one? The last five, because they all start with the same 4,000. Yeah. So what was it again, my man? 34515. truck here so that is a good sign. Hopefully they can load us quick. A lot of containers coming off the Alien port. So this is where it must be where they're doing it. I wonder if we're getting a different kind of solar panel or the same thing. Uh, 43 and 44,000 pounds. Oh. Yep. So that'll be 19 pallets. And then how many are per pallet? 27. 27 per pallet? Oh, several 27, yeah. So each solar panel is about 80, 80 to 83 pounds. Um, and they have this one full and that one full and all these containers are full. I'm like, man, there's a lot of solar panels. We're going door 48. Close this video out, guys. It's a long one. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's unfortunate that they wouldn't load us. 30 minute grace period is ridiculous in trucking, especially being based out of Atlanta. Um, but hey, we've made the best of it. We slept in the middle. We tried to get a load today. Volumes are way down. We're blessed to get another uh, solar panel for the weekend. I'll take it. Well, I think I should let him. I'm going to set up and let him get out of the way because I'm going right in front of his truck, full 48. Let's get it in there and close this video. And on that note, God bless you. Know your worth. Understand the game of uh, being a truck that's needed, not a truck that they have. And on that note, I will see you on the next one.